So in this video we're going to replace a CD drive. This is actually a DVD or W drive. This one in particular is an IDE. There's also SATA. These are SATA. If you have these, these are going to be way easier, okay? But, but the one we're going to replace here is IDE. If you see these, then uh, they're just as easy to do, okay? So first thing we do is we disconnect the power and we disconnect the IDE ribbon cable. If you notice, this is some big old cable with pins on it. Way a lot of pins. SATA, way easier, okay? So after we do that, we get our screwdriver. Now, computers vary. Computer cases vary. This one's really easy. This is a custom case. Yours might have a way to just it'll come right out or um, you're gonna have to figure it out, you know. You look online if you need to look and look up uh, tutorials on that. I'm sure somebody does have it. If not, try to figure it out on your own. That's what I had to do with a lot of computers. It's actually pretty fun. But this one in particular has screws here. Most of them do. Now there is gonna be some computers that have screws on the other side too. So uh, keep a lookout for that. You might have to take out the panel on the other side too for that. This one I only keep screws on this side to make it easier to take off because I. I'm, I'm constantly uh, changing stuff on this computer. Now, on the majority of computers, most of the ones I know, the the CD drive comes out through the front, just slides out through the front, okay? So let's slide it out. So I'm just gonna push from over here and there it is. And here we have it, slid right off, DVD, RW, now when you um, replace it, or if you're installing a new one, make sure uh, you look at the at the little tab here. See this one's set for slave, okay? The way I have this computer set up is my hard drive is master. Right here on my hard drive I have it set for MA. And then this one I have it set for SL, master and then slave because I have a ribbon that has two connections, all right? The first connection is the master and then the second connection is the slave. So whatever yours says right here, whatever the tab is on, when you get your new disk drive, make sure you put it on the correct one, all right? If you put cable select, it might still work, but I don't recommend it. Just uh, if it's master, do master. If it's slave, do slave. Even if it's cable select, put a cable select on the new one, all right? Very important, okay? So then to install the new one, just the same process as we did before, but backwards, and that's it. Hope this has helped you guys and helped you guys find out that this is so easy to do. Most of the stuff to do on computers is so easy. The purpose of these videos is to, the purpose of these videos and the website, PC help for, for beginners.com is to help you guys learn how to do this by yourselves and not have to pay a tech for it, okay? So I hope I've helped you guys out and saved you some money from paying a tech to do this on your computer. And uh, have a good day.